Well, hey, y'all. My name's Jenny. Welcome to the Gramstead. For those of you that don't know, and many of you probably don't know because you're new here, um, I am a homesteader in Florida. Um, we live here on our... We live here on our 10 acre homestead. We bought our property about seven or eight years ago and just every year we added one new skill, one new thing to the homestead and um, have built a homestead where we pretty much grow all of our own meat and we try to grow a bulk of our vegetables too. Even though we've been at it for seven years or so, um, I definitely still feel like a newbie, but um, if I can grow food, anybody can grow their own food. Um, so my channel is really just a hope and an encouragement that I can show you some small things that we do here on our homestead um, to provide food for our family. So um, I hope you'll join us. Um, today I want to show you my compost chicken brooder. <laughs> Let me show y'all what we've got set up over here um, because I think it's a really efficient way, a good way to make your own compost and raise chicks at the same time. And the best news is, is you don't even have to clean the brooder. So let me let y'all check it out. All right. So if you didn't see my um, freezer compost video, this is my compost freezer. <laughs> basically just a broken freezer that I start my compost in. Works really well because it helps keep everything contained. Um, I've had it in there now for a couple of months. I've been working on this pile and a couple weeks ago got these baby chicks. Tori built me the grate to hover over the compost pile and you can really see right there the baby chicks are really just pooping right through that hardware cloth right onto my compost pile. So um, I'm going to see if I can get these chickens moved so I can go ahead and get that grate pulled off of there and give this compost a good stir. All right, so for right now, I've got the baby chicks in this little planter pot. <laughs> Wow. Oh, if you look real close, you can actually see it steaming just a little bit. I don't know if y'all can see that, but yeah, nice and warm. So basically I'm just gonna turn these leaves under and the chicken poo. Get that all mixed in with this stuff that's more finished. This is actually looking pretty great sweet. I think I may drag the hose over here and add some water to this while I'm mixing it up. And of course my hose isn't where it's supposed to be and somebody put this on so tight I can't even get it off so I guess I gotta go grab a bucket and haul it. And my bucket has a hole in it. <laughs> well I guess that actually kind of works. <laughs> So you do want to add some water to your compost. Um, however, you do not want it super, super wet. So um, just moist enough. Um, compost does need a little bit of moisture and oxygen in order to turn into compost. So I'm just gonna give each little area a little bit of water and uh, give it another good mix. Try to get some of these leaves underneath. All right, I think that's mixed up good enough now. We have uh, about four or five weeks, probably closer to four, <laughs> until our last predicted frost. So hopefully by four weeks time, with a couple more mixes, hopefully a lot of these leaves will be broken down and ready to go. It's a heart. All right, y'all, I am going to reset the brooder and add the chicks back in. Um, and let them continue to work that pile of compost. So I just wanted to share this with y'all because um, it is a super simple, really effective way to make your own compost and raise your baby chicks. Um, hopefully it's something that um, y'all can use and put into practice at your own homestead so you can grow a little bit of food of your own. Thank All right guys, are you ready? Uh, 
Come on. Hey y'all, if you want to hear more about growing your own food, check out the American Farm Stutters podcast. Um, it's on all the major podcasting channels. Hopefully it can be an encouragement to grow some food of your own. Thanks y'all.